we made a decision three years ago to move Intel Ireland to become the leading edge for Intel and the next generation. And over the course of the last three years, that's meant that we've invested $5 billion into Ireland and into Intel Ireland. Very big deal. This $5 billion investment represents the largest investment in the history of the state. In fact, it's a record that beats only the record that we previously set several years ago for capital investment here. And, and in that sense, it's a hugely significant. You know, it, it keeps us at the leading edge of manufacturing for Intel and one of just a handful of these kind of facilities on the planet. I think it's important for everybody to understand that since 2011, just a little over two years ago, five billion, five thousand million has been invested here by Intel in this plant. And it stabilizes, as your president has pointed out, the four and a half thousand highly skilled jobs who are here and the five thousand jobs that have been created indirectly. And as, uh, as uh, Eamon pointed out to me, the, the impact of that on the economy regionally has been almost the equivalent of, uh, of 900, uh, 900 million euro every year over all those years that Intel have been here. I look forward to continued engagement with a company as globally strong as Intel, driven, of course, from the foundation and the roots of an old country here, of which we're very proud. To be here for 25 years, first of all, is a great achievement. But secondly, it is also because of the investment of the, the five uh, billion uh, uh, dollars uh, over the past number of, of years. It is also a great statement of confidence by Intel uh, in this plant, uh, in Ireland, uh, in the people who work here. And I think it gives great confidence for everybody in this room in the future. What's made Ireland an attractive location for investment by Intel is generally a complicated measure of things, you know, the capability of the workforce, clearly the pro-business pro environment that we have. And as I was explaining in the earlier, the stability that is offered by our corporate tax rate, you know, that it's seen to be very, very stable over the years, that it gives the decision makers at Intel who, for capital investments of this size, look at multi, multi years ahead, and gives them great confidence that they're that their return will happen as expected.